Welcome to the Theology Corner. I'm your host, J.D. Martin, and today we are going to be thinking about social media. Social media is, and just like all technology, it can be a gift. It can be a way that people who otherwise wouldn't have contact with each other can have contact with one another. So it can bring people together. And when you bring people together, good things can happen and bad things can happen. We can think about the good things that have happened when society has been unified, all of our technological advances have come out of people cooperating and and really that's how technology um, the technology boom or explosion has happened it's not as if we are so much smarter than the people that came before us no it's just that we've been able to build upon their techniques and the gifts that they have given us so i didn't create the light bulb and neither did steve jobs or uh, Apple, is what I'm referring to, or Microsoft, or any of these other companies, right? Those, the, um, the light bulb and electricity was already built, but these guys came into the world with these electricity and, and these technologies, and they built upon them. And so that, now we have the Apple, and now we know how to use them, and, and now we have social media and Facebook and all of these various uh, technological advances where we've just been building on one technological advance after another. That's how society works. So... Uh, the, the primary advantage of social media is, again, communication, that I can uh, talk to people that I would never have necessary access to. I can um, minister to those people in certain ways because if we, if we have access to them, then we can have access for good or for evil. We can speak life and truth and healing into them, or we can speak death and wickedness to them. So social media itself is not evil. But social media, of course, can be used for evil. How many affairs have happened? How much? How many people have uh, perused social media, uh, end up lusting after other people, end up becoming covetous and discontent with their lives? How many people have just plain become addicted to social media? So they're either addicted to argumentation, they're addicted to likes, they're addicted to clicks, they are constantly comparing themselves to others, and envy is filling their heart and uh, just wickedness is spreading in that way. I would say, I would venture to say many people are misusing social media. So here is kind of my recommendations or what I have learned. I was an individual who was very skeptical of social media and I didn't really use it uh, too much because I've heard about how people can get addicted and how uh, they can, they can, uh, all of these things that I'm saying, all of these dangers, there's uh, immodest women out there on social media. So now the, the woman, the harlot of, of Proverbs calling out to you, come, come lie with me. My husband has left is now one click away, one accidental click. In fact, let me tell you when I had, uh, when I was very active on social media for a time period, it might still be going on, but for a time period, I kept on getting uh, links and, and friend requests from uh, all I can say is harlots from people who were, I think they were actually fake social media accounts trying to lure me in or trying to lure people in with very sexually explicit images, trying to uh, get me to click on other links that that profile was uh, linked to. The reason I know this isn't because I was clicking on those links, it's because they were sending me friend requests. And I would I uh, noticed that when you would click onto their profile and see what was going on, why did I click on their profile? Again, it wasn't to lust. It was actually to block the individual and report them. You can't block or report the individual, at least at this time, before clicking on their profile. And when they clicked on their profile, every profile looked exactly the same. So that was, uh, I knew that that was going to happen. Well, not that particular scheme, but I knew that there was going to be inappropriate um, inappropriate profile pictures and, and friend recommendations and just uh, yuck like that. So I was very skeptical, really for that reason alone, of social media's uh, usefulness. But I avoided that by creating a social media with, with just my friends and my family. That's all I had was my friends and family. All of these people were Christian for the most part. And if they weren't, I would simply block. So the, the biggest problem for me with social media is I got to block those the, the inappropriate images, but for the most part, that worked out pretty well, and that and, and I didn't really get uh, addicted in that way, and and um, it, it worked out pretty well. I would say pretty well um, because, of course, that was the beginning of the end in some ways, and uh, you still did end up at, unfortunately seeing some inappropriate pictures, and you can get into the scroll cycle. You know the scroll cycle when you're just scrolling and scrolling and sc and scrolling. Uh, instead of doing something useful, you're just killing time 
Um, and I think that this itself is unhealthy. So for the most part, if you have social media that you are um, merely using to connect with friends and family, you're guarding yourself against um, the, the, the lust factor and all of those kind of things. I don't think that social media is too bad, and I think it can, uh, it can be used for good. But, but be warned, because that's where I started. And again, I started, the, the, bad, the worst part was uh, hitting those images sometimes. And, and then uh, the scroll cycle, right? And then starting to get unhealthy. But later on, I realized that, you know what? What if I expand my social media presence to get more, access to more Christians and try to minister to more Christians? That was my heart. That was my desire. And that's what I wanted to do. And so I sought out to expand my social media uh, profile from not just having uh, friends that were I directly knew and a family I directly knew, but then trying to get many more, many more people. Fortunately, not unbelievers, because like I said, those unbelievers profiles are horrendous and terrible. So um, evangelism or something like that, I guess, is going to have to be done uh, some other way because I didn't want to see, again, the inappropriate pictures and so forth and the inappropriate language and just all the filth that gets shared. I've, no, thank you. Um, so I, I did that. I expanded my profile to include Christians that I didn't know, and I can tell you that um, you get sucked in that social media, they hire psychologists and psychiatrists and, and all of these experts of, of human behaviorism. Okay. And they figure out how the human brain works and they manipulate it so that social media can be as addictive as possible because social media is a business. This is not a humanitarian service. Social media is not designed to make the world better. It's designed to make the stockholders more profit. And you have to understand that everything in life costs something. There's no such thing as a free lunch. In the social media world, since it's free for you to log in and create an account, then they're not making money directly um, by you. You are the, You are not directly the customer if you want to think of it that way so if you're not the customer then what are you again there's no free lunch out here there's no free service you are the product they are selling you they're selling your information so they're tracking you and selling your information but you know who cares about that i don't say who cares about that i'm not that concerned but they are tracking your information and selling that to marketers and really anyone who will pay them for it uh, but beyond that though they're also having a major uh, profit being built by advertising. That's why there is so much advertising on social media and, and they're getting more and more sophisticated of, of making it uh, such that it doesn't even look like advertisement anymore, right? They're trying to make it look natural, but it's advertisement. And so since you, again, are, uh, you are the, not really the customer because you're not buying anything, but you are the product, so they are selling you and uh, they have all of these um, advertisements that they get paid by flashing in front of your eyes. And those advertisements are trying to manipulate you too and, and to make you discontent and all of those other things. But here's the point I'm trying to get at. The way that they make money is by you looking at advertisement. And so the way that you look at advertisement is you using their platform. And the way you use, your, you use their platform, it, well, obviously it's by you using their platform. But in order to get you to use their platform, they have to make the the device as addictive as possible to get you to spend more hours, okay? So if you spend 15 minutes, they make significantly less or half the amount if you spend 30 minutes on social media. But what if you spend an hour on social media? They're making double what you spent if you spent 30 and so forth and so on. So these companies are not quote unquote malicious in and of themselves. They're just trying to be concerned about their bottom line and their products. But the result is malicious. The result is the fact that they have fine-tuned these devices so that they trigger us to become addicted, spending more and more time on this so that their pockets can be lined and our lives can become extremely unbalanced. This is very important to understand this because at least you know what uh, Facebook is trying to do to you. Facebook is trying to make you addicted. Facebook is trying to, and not just Facebook, I'm not just trying to bully on Facebook, um, that's actually the only social media profile I have. But all of these uh, social media platforms are trying to make you addictive and trying to get you to spend maximum amount of time. So if you're waking up and the first thing you're doing is uh, checking your social media uh, platform, 
that is because you have been trained and conditioned to do that. That is not an accident. Uh, that is something that these companies have, they have gamed you. These companies have got you. That's where they want you to be. But that's exactly where, uh, as a minister of the Lord, I don't want you to be. And I bet you don't want yourself to be that. You don't want to be addicted. You want to be sober-minded. You don't want to be uh, stuck into these devices. So that's uh, just some dangers that you should uh you should uh, be aware of and, and some things that you should be concerned of. If every time you are uh, even for one second not engaged, you're reaching to your phone and checking your social media. If you're checking your social media, if you're getting an itch to check your social media platform multiple times a day, if, if there's not even a single day that you're not checking your social media, um, you need to really think about what so how is social media affecting your life. And even even if you do somehow, uh, one of the few people who have not been sucked in by the social media monster, you have to ask yourself, is the amount of time you are spending in social media, could it be spent better elsewhere? So these are just some of the questions that you have to think uh, uh, about it. But here, I just really, I'm going to stop it here. I just really wanted to warn of what is social media's design and intent? And what are they trying to do to you? And the, and the simple answer is they are trying to make you addicted. They're trying to make you imbalanced. Um, and they're trying to get your eyeballs on that platform as much as possible. And this is something that we as Christians must absolutely resist. Social media can be used. It's a very dangerous device. I'm not even sure if it should be used. But it can be used. And it can be used to uh, for our good. And the cause of Christ and good for the cause of Christ. But you being addicted, you being covetous, you being uh, uh, wasting tons and tons of time is not that. You are not helping out the cause of Christ as you hurt yourself. That is a lie of the devil. As you hurt yourself and you damage your witness and as you just constantly are consuming the, the works of the flesh instead of the works of the spirit. And yes, you can see some of the works of the flesh, even on Christian profiles, when you're constantly digesting that as your, as your food and, your, and, and the things that you're consuming before your eyes, that is not good for the cause of Christ. You are a more sickly, more damaged uh, Christian. And so instead of you being able to rescue people from the darkness, you yourselves are probably going to need great heart or some mature Christian to come and rescue you. So these are just things that you should uh, think about. To recommend one uh, great resources, there's this uh, book called 12 Ways That Your iPhone Is Changing You. I highly uh, recommend that book. So, And just really, I recommend just uh, prayerfully thinking about the things that I've said and prayerfully thinking about your social media um, usage. One helpful thing that I I do is ask myself, in in eternity future, Will I uh, think this decision was a good decision or not? Evaluate your decisions and your social media usage and and all of these things by eternity future. In eternity future, do you wish you would have scrolled just one more time? Do you think that your social media uh, platform was really nothing more than cheap entertainment that wasted your time and filled you up with uh, unhealthiness and, and the works of the flesh? Or will you honestly say, I redeemed this device and I pointed people to Christ and I was better for this and the people I ministered were better for this. And, and you know, you all have to uh, decide uh, what's the case. You all have to look inside your own heart and say, how am I using social media? Am I using social media for the kingdom of God or is the kingdom of darkness using me through social media? Those are questions that I cannot answer that you have to answer for your.